Frozen in time between death and decay. These bodies have been skinned and preserved using a process called plastination. It's a process that was invented by a German anatomist, Gunther van Hagens, also known as Dr. Death. His wife, Dr. Angelina Wally, is also an anatomist. Each body takes 1,500 hours or a year to plastinate. As this exhibition has traveled the world, it hasn't been without some controversy. It's outraged certain religious groups, and there have been unsubstantiated allegations that the bodies of executed Chinese prisoners were used in a laboratory, a rumor Dr. Wally firmly denies and blames on competing exhibitors. Body Worlds is really solely relying on the body donation program and we have around 13,000 volunteers in our files and there's really no need for us to go out and look for corpses elsewhere. In fact, Wally and her husband have been so overwhelmed by donors, including South Africans, they've now closed their donation books. The corpses arrive at the Body World Foundation about two days after death. They are skinned and dissected. I've read that you actually slice the flesh into tiny little pieces. Indeed, uh, we have also uh, thin body slices that are um, made by means of a high-speed uh, bandsaw. So we cut the body in two millimeter thick slices and uh, later on impregnated them with a particular polymer that would render the slice transparent. And they are extremely valuable, these slices, for teaching sheet anatomy. The exhibits do not smell, and they track disease from womb to grave. Revolting, fascinating, art or science, this collage of the dead will get under your skin. Anna Kalasen, Cape Town.